Hey church, welcome to Testimony Tuesday. My name is Brendan. It's great that we can meet again. I hope you're really enjoying uh, these testimonies. I know I am. It's been a privilege to uh, see them all, be a part of them all, and just hear the story. We're here with, uh, with friends, and uh, it's, just, it's going to be another uh, great testimony today. So I just want to dive straight into it. So hey, hey friends, tell us um, a little bit about you growing up. Tell us about when... Um, when did you have like your first encounter with God? When did you like mm. God get mm. your attention? I know we spoke a little bit off camera about mm. uh, a bit of a journey that you were on. Just tell mm. us some of that, some okay. of the journey, maybe some of the moments that, okay. um, yeah, okay. that, that happened. Um, well, I grew up going to church. My mother, you know, took us to church as when we were kids. And, yeah. um, but I didn't have a relationship with the Lord and it was only a, a religious experience for me as a teenager. Yeah. Um, but um, my first encounter with the Lord was um, was one time when He, you know, convicted me of something I'd done wrong. Yeah. And um, uh, I remember telling um, telling someone in my family how stupid they were because they couldn't operate like a, a video recorder. Yeah. You know. And um, and my you know. And I knew that I, that person was upset with me. I, I knew that I had also grieved God, the Holy yeah. Spirit. So, you know, that, and I couldn't shake that, you know, and I tried to apologize um, to that family member. And uh, again, they didn't want to talk to me about it. Um, but that night, um, I, I couldn't get any sleep. You know, mm. I was disturbed. I couldn't get any sleep because I knew something wasn't right. You know, the Lord, yeah. I, just, I just felt restless and agitated. So, you know, sometime in the wee hours of the morning, I went down to the lounge room and, um, and just asked God for forgiveness. I said, Lord, you know, I'm sorry that I've grieved you. I'm sorry for what I've said. Yep. You know, um, we, you know, please forgive me. And um, because uh, I know that, you know, that other person won't, won't even talk to me. So, you know, and the Lord, I heard the Lord say in my spirit, I love you. You know, mm. and that was for me. I knew it didn't come from my head, but it came from the spirit of the Lord. So, yeah. you know, He just reaffirmed that uh, you've come to me, you've stepped out in faith. You know, you've asked for forgiveness, and uh, that soft, small voice, "I love you," yeah. was, was an impact for me. Wow, um, that's cool, friends. And then you, you mm. said there's, there's more of your journey. Mm. You, mm. Um, you, you weren't really engaged mm. with with church, as you said. There's no relationship yeah. there, and you found yourself in Canberra. Yeah, studying yeah. arts degree. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What, how did mm -hmm. how did God continue to sort of work in the, in that situation? Mm. Um, well, I was trying to figure out what I believed, and I knew uh, um, at that particular time I was with um, you know my, my friends and uh, you know and other colleagues. We you know would just often talk about um, you know like like what do you believe? Yeah, you know. There must be more to life than, than this. Mm. And everybody has a view, everybody has an opinion. And uh, I remember being asked, what personally, you know, what do I believe? And I think I, I said something like, I believe in some form of Christianity. But um, I didn't know what it was because I'd only had a religious, you know, quite a legalistic experience yeah. growing up as a, as, a, as a kid. There was certainly no personal, um, uh, you know, encounter that I had, I, I, I didn't yeah. really know, you know, how to pray or anything like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, that desire grew in me and um, to really sort of investigate, look further, you know, into, into what I believe, because I was into a lot of, um, you know, um, like pantheism or, you know, things that might sort of verge on the new age, yeah. you know, um, path. Um, so, so here you were. You're in Canberra. You mm -hmm. were uh, you were mm. open to faith. Would that mm. be fair to say? You were I was exploring. Open. I was exploring, exploring. but I, yeah. I didn't really understand. I, I was confused with a lot about Christianity. You know, yeah. I, I was confused with um, all the denominations yeah. and uh, you know and where. You know. and, and what happened one Sunday? One Sunday, you just thought it was like any other Sunday, and you mm. went to the shopping centre. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> um, there was a small Baptist church near yeah. the shopping center in O'Connor, Canberra, where I lived. And uh, after doing some shopping, I remember hearing, you know, the worship coming through, you know, from the church. And uh, like every Sunday, you know, people were going into the church. I saw yeah. people going in, and yeah. I saw people, you know, coming out. And yeah. uh, and I could always hear 
you know, something's going on on the inside. Yeah. And um, I was interested, but I was afraid to walk through the door. You know, yeah. there, was a, there was a sense of not belonging. Yeah. Um, I was an art student. I had, I dressed in funny clothes a bit. I had long dreadlocks yeah. halfway down my, my back. And yeah, I just felt I wanted to, I wanted to explore more, but I wasn't certain. Yeah. But the following week, I checked that church out and I said, okay, I know what time it starts. I'm going to go in. I'm just going to see what it's like, you know, what, what happens inside here, you know, and uh, because there was that, the Lord, I felt, you know, was drawing me. There was that desire to go in. Yeah. So um, it was really from there that I, you know, I was, I started to get to know a couple of people, a couple of people my age. Yeah. And, um, and then from there on, I, I kept coming back to this particular church because it was close to where I lived and they had a Thursday night meeting. Yeah. Um, and I loved it, you know, I, I love the, sm I love to be able to worship and, uh, you know, and uh, connect and build connect. relationships. And, yeah, yeah, connect. So <clears throat> it was a journey. Yeah. It took some. And then what was the next step? I mean, time. was it in that <clears throat> small group that the pastor said, hey, mm. uh, are there people who want to get baptized? Is that, was that uh, part of your yeah, journey? That was, or, yeah. You know, shortly after, you know, maybe a few weeks after, I remember the pa <clears throat> the pastor of this church saying, announcing that he's running a, a course about, you know, baptism, believers yeah. baptism. And um, I approached him and said, you know, I, I want to find out more about this. Yeah. And um, he said, great, I got one other guy who's interested. We'll sit down and, uh, you know, once a week we'll go, you know, we'll do a study on every reference about baptism. Yeah. So you get a good, you know, understanding of what it's mm -hmm. all about. So, yep. you know, this particular pastor, he was right into sort of teaching. I want you to, I don't want you to just get baptized, but I want you to know what it means and what it's all about. So, um, yep. so I did that. Uh, course for I, I can't remember you know like a few maybe a, over two or three weeks yeah. and uh, yeah and and I knew that you know it was something I wanted to do I wanted yeah. you know I was interested and um, I was ready uh, sort of then and there pretty much from the start but uh, you know he held off for a while yeah. and uh, and he wanted to meet me you know further on this particular topic yeah. the other student um, was interested well, I wanted to know about it, but not interested in taking that particular, you know, yeah. that step because he, yeah. he'd been baptized as a child and he disagreed with that particular, you know, getting baptized again, yeah. I guess. So uh, what happened? How did it all sort of culminate where you uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, got baptized? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so he, we made an appointment. He came to the art school yeah. and uh, said, you know, um, okay, let's talk about it. And, uh, you know, where do you want to get baptized and how do you want to get baptized and who do who do you yeah. want at your baptism and I was like I don't really you know I know I, I want to get baptized in a river because yep. you know Jesus John the Baptist, <laughs> they get baptized in rivers yep although it doesn't matter where you, you get That's baptized right. it's what yep. you you know it's your yep. step of faith yep. um and it was just you know I didn't really care who was there it was yeah. a personal thing you know yeah, I want to right. do it so yep. uh, so we made I think the following week we made a plan to go out to a river this is in Canberra so it was yep. probably 40 I don't know, 40, it was a long way out. I remember that, you know, yeah. but he was willing to make the effort to, to yeah. take me there. So yeah. maybe 40 minutes out, 45 minutes out of town. Yeah. Um, so, but um, that was, I mentioned my baptism because yeah. um, it was a, a milestone for me spiritually, yeah. you know, not just something because, you know, it's what happens, you know, what other Christians say or what, you know, what happens in the church, but um, it changed it changed uh you know a lot on the inside of me changed a lot um yeah. immediately you know the next i remember that weekend um i cut off all my hair i cut off my dreadlocks so um, you had dreadlocks down to your back or uh, lower back probably, yeah. yeah lower well yeah mid back i would say so you were uh, embracing the arts lifestyle yeah i was <laughs> i was fully embracing you know like uh, the alternative <laughs> yeah uh, and it was all about, you know, like, and I guess it was about finding my identity too. Yeah. You know, at art yep. school, it's all about finding who I am or what, yeah. you know, what is my identity? And, yep. you know, at that time, my dreadlocks were part of my identity, you yeah. know, and yeah. how I dressed or what I, you know, wore or, and what I did, you know, yeah. I was, you know, I was uh, on the, you know, on the fringe of society yeah. <laughs> as an art student. So, yeah. Uh, um, and so, so you, so you're in your baptism, you felt something had shifted inside some, of you. Yeah, something. And you, 
And so why did you cut your hair off? Is it that oh, I'll just... Because the Lord, um, not that you need to, I mean, I, it wasn't something I planned to do. Yeah. Um, but I, I just felt God was saying to me, you know, cut it off. Yeah. <laughs> you know, cut it off. Not that you need to change the outside to yeah. reflect the inside. Yeah. Um, but you but, just realized something had happened on the inside yeah. and I'm no longer the same. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. So I'm, I'm, because of that, I'm, I'm going to mm, change. Mm -hmm. And it was... Um, you know like spiritually it was a honeymoon kind of experience not just yeah. in that i mean that was just okay i'm changing that i'm cutting that off but um you know the lord you know poured his love out on me um it's good and at that particular time in in a way that really you know helped me grow helped me develop yeah and um you know and just gave me yeah i mean even in dreams and the lord was communicating you know yeah. he was speaking speaking to me and uh that's cool. Um, but um, so you, God has just been drawing you through this whole whole time and mm -hmm. probably baptism was like a culmination mm -hmm. of a lot of those events. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what's I know, I know I know a lot of your story anyhow, friends, mm -hmm. but what is one just awesome thing that God has just stepped into your life mm -hmm. in the last mm -hmm. 12, 18 months, I don't know, uh -huh. where he where you're just like, Wow, look what God mm -hmm. uh, has done. Mm -hmm. Um well one you know, I'd have to say, um, you know, with my wife getting her visa to yep. come to Australia, that was a long, and um, that was a long, <laughs> sort of, I was a long work, you know, it was a, it was a battle to it's get. It's a labor of uh, love, labor of literally. Love and, <laughs> but yeah. um, it's, you know, like, it's being faithful in the little things yeah. day by day, and it's, yeah. um, and really, I think it's your character that changes, you know, I, I can't yeah. say, wow, something big happened here or something big happened here but yeah. you know God's really at work I feel you yeah. know in my life you know on my character you know and being more conformed you know more conformed to Christ so um, yeah like you you die to yourself yeah. and you live you Christ. live for Christ yeah. and uh, that's not always spectacular you don't always see fireworks yeah. go off there but um, you know, but your character is transformed. You yeah. know, like in, I think it's Romans 12, 2, it says be yeah. transformed. A new creation. New creation, yeah. yeah. That's right. So, um, yeah, learning like each day, you know, like each day we have, we're faced with decisions, you yeah. know, and, um, you know, how we react and how we respond to those. It's good. Will, you know, determine um, how far we progress, you know, yeah. spiritually. But obviously, like um, having like my wife and I both have a love for God's word, yep. and uh, we, you know, we both invest our lives in things that build up our spirit, yeah. you know, our spirit life, and stay in touch with. We, we, we've been blessed by being able, before this COVID nineteen yeah. thing happened, um, being able to travel, and um, and being able to meet other spirit filled believers and yeah. and other people that could speak into our lives and and just building connecting you know in it's relationships good. so yeah. uh it's good yeah we hey friends thank you thanks for and hey if you see church if you see friends when we meet back together mm -hmm. you see friends around you ask him because he's got heaps more that he'd uh, love to uh share with us but hey friends can i pray with you would that be okay yeah, yeah. hey father we thank you for friends we thank you for his story we thank you for the way that you have been drawing him uh, to you. We thank you that you uh, continue to daily make him more like Jesus. And we just pray a blessing upon him and Ventnar and just uh, bless them both in their relationship. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hey church, thanks for joining in today. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.